at Argon A. My name's uh, Brett Meldrum. I'm a farm manager here in the central west of New South Wales. Uh, I've been running this place for uh, six years. Fair time, I like to get out hunting all the time, um, chasing after deer and pigs and that in the mountains here. And absolutely love me bow hunting, been doing it all my life. What's the, what's the plan for today? I'll uh, we'll get out, have a look at a bit of country and um, try and find a buck. It's a uh, late rut at the minute. And um, yeah, the deer are pretty quiet still. But uh, we've just seen two deer up here look like does. So we're just does as bucks. So hopefully we'll come across the buck trying to fatten up. After after the rut for the last few weeks, pretty hard on them. So fingers crossed we'll get out there and um, see if we get something done. Eh? Spotted our first buck. He's with a couple of kangaroos, probably 150 out. There goes another deer and another deer. That's oh, pretty cool. We saw some deer anyway. Yeah. Nice young one, not something you'd really want to shoot just yet, but. Hey, we'll see how we get on for the rest of the day. We've got a few days left still. Hey, we've got plenty more opportunity, I'd say, so we'll let this one go. And we'll keep moving on. We've got more country up here to cover. So we'll wait for them to take off on their own and um, yeah, we'll keep moving. What's your, uh, hey, what's your call them, hey, out of brief? Vacuum hose. <laughs> Don't do it to your wife's vacuum cleaner, but you'll get really mad at you. <laughs> Checking the trail cams. Yeah, there's a couple of bucks still coming in. Just looking at them there, nothing too exciting, but yeah, the rut's winding down fairly well. But we're still seeing deer out there, so a few days running around, there should be something skirting around them. Hopefully, there's a few bucks about, so we've got a good mob out here. Just quickly reset this camera and um, we'll head back over that way and see what we can find. Hopefully, there's a buck. Oh, we're just walking along it, buddy. I just spotted the other end of a deer. Then we just dropped to the ground. They must have come out of a scrub while we were checking the camera. Then we walked and checked there, but we might have to try and slide backwards to them trees there. Get a bit of cover, we might have a crack at him or something. Give us a sort of rattle and see if we can't get one to turn around. There she goes. Same old game, right? Yeah. Gotta try and get to some shade.
scoop me for the wind. Just got a bit of movement off me arm. Stabilizing this freaking branch. There he was. He's 22 meters. <laughs> I threw that grunt at him. If he had to stop for that grunt, it would have been all over. Yeah. But yeah, so bloody hard to pull this bastard back that slow. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All done for the morning. Yeah, all done, mate. We'll go and check out a few other spots now. Let's have a little look. Oh, yeah. Very good. You have a cup of coffee, eh? Yeah. <laughs> cup of coffee with a view. Yeah, mate, but a good spot for one, innit? Fuck yeah. The old dog and gun. Yeah, mate. Only the best around here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what sort of bow setup are you on? I uh, got a Matthews V3X uh, 33 and um, the OD grain colour. Um, yeah, it's a 75 pound bow. Um, my draw length's pretty long, it's 31 and a half pound, so it's pretty maxed out. I've uh, got a QAD Ultra S Integrate on it, a uh, drop away. Uh, sword Sight, this is a Punisher Pro, a uh, 3 pin slider. And uh, running a, just a Doinker stabiliser on it at the minute. And um, yeah, the Matthews Quick Release Quiver which isn't quick releasing for me, there we go. Yeah, so that's the setup. Um, taking a lot of game with this. The first run I had with it, we took it up to the Northern Territory and yeah, smacking buffalo with it and that. And um, yeah, just a great all round bow. And I'd highly recommend them to anyone sort of getting into it or wanting to um, upgrade from what they got. Yeah, you can't really go wrong with Matthew's bow. So yeah, bloody happy with it. Yep. Give it a try now, eh? <laughs> and see if we can't get something down with her. They were looking glass and out here at these gates and spotted a couple of pigs. But uh, Tomo just spotted a buck <laughs> cruising on in, and he's a pretty nice buck, too. So I'm gonna try and just move over here a bit. The wind's a bit better and give a few croaks and um, see if he walks up here. Primo. I can't see him at the minute. But we'll go get quickly set up.
a good plan. <laughs> Any old stalking, cracking, all little goats. Yeah. It was a pretty epic day. Yeah. So a fair wedge you go to the ute. Crack over a nice cold beer. But um, they will probably give you a recap when we get up there, I'd say. Yeah. As we crack the beer, we'll take our gear off. And um, not like that, don't get excited. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> yeah, we'll have a chat about day's events, eh? Oh, good. <laughs> well, a great southern. Great northern, mate. Great northern. <laughs> <laughs> not on the south island, mate. Yeah. <laughs> uh, buddy, cracking day. Yeah, we called in, buddy, uh, two good bucks. Uh, we had one last buck that we saw that was a pretty good one, heap of deer there, so we saw a heap of wildlife. I uh, got some mad footage for you guys, and um, yeah, just cracking day. A few miles done, plenty of animals seen, and yeah, now we're going to have a beer. We'll head back home, we've got a mad feed to cook up tonight for Tomo. We've got some camel steaks from um, my camel bull in Western Australia, and a heap of uh, deer sausages and that, so it'll be a pretty uh, main feed tonight. So. Ready for tomorrow, do it all again. And yeah, hopefully we get some arrows in there, eh? Oh yeah. Yeah, stay tuned for the next one, eh? <laughs> <laughs>
Bless your soul. It fell over right in front of us. <laughs> Didn't matter how good that bush there, but yeah, how good's that, eh? It's been a friggin' hard morning. Had to get up here, get a bit of wind, got the uh, shade from my eyes. And yeah, just leveled up my bubble real nice. Took my time. Squeezed her off, and there's the result, buddy. Did pig. Let's have a little result here, buddy. 15 metres in front of us. <laughs> <laughs> How good is that, eh? Oh, look good. Oh, I'll grab me pack and we'll hopefully find this arrow. There's that pig that we just shot. As big a sea out of that mob, and hey, that's the exit wound. So I was saying she's pretty, um, yeah, quartered away from me. So I slipped it in a bit back here. Before I go behind the last ribs, it's gone there and it's taken out through the heart. But yeah, there has to be the heart the way that thing dropped. Yeah, come out the front. You see the angle of that arrow would have taken the heart clean out. Yeah, she didn't go far. They have a type of, um, good clean kills that we really spy for as bow hunters and um yeah getting rid of a few pests off the place eh? Pretty good. Yeah uh, hopefully now we can probably find a deer but eight o'clock sun's getting a bit high everything might start tucking away now but we might get lucky find some more pigs or something but anyway bloody good hunt yep. got got something there <laughs> <laughs> four five six seven deer out there yeah just more animals mate yeah yeah <laughs> More eyes. There's a spiker out there. That's a bucket. If we can call a spiker in, I'll happily take him. Yeah. Another deer out there. It's not saying bucks at the minute. Oh, yeah. There might be one here somewhere. There's a lot of cream in there. So just don't walk out. comes under this fence right here. Yeah, we just caught a buck in and we spotted them. There's a baby deer down there, but something spooked them up. They're going into the scrub paddock here and um, they managed to start rattling some antlers and get a bit of attention from one. And you come walking up beautiful and it's like, it's a plain white fence, there's got a bit of netting on it. And my pin was in between the wires, so I'm like, I'll let it send. And um, we just checked it back on the camera. It looks like a good hit, sound like a good hit. I saw him run down and stop. I see his aunt was just standing there for a bit and then he started walking down the hill again. So I don't know, I hate this part of bay hunting, but hopefully we've got a good blood trail and we can find him. And um, be happy days. Oh, yeah. Big cart out miles that way to get yeah. all the meat out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, we got our buck, mate. Yeah, mate. There's a buddy. Very tough deer, this one. Eh? I'll be rattled him in. And caught him in bloody good and there's a shot under 20 metres and um, yeah that's the exit wound there it was pretty money 
on the other side and then um yeah we caught up with him just there so that log is laying across and um he was still kicking a fair bit like he's in a bit of a bad way for us i put another one here you can see the entry here but that oh, it, like it snapped tomorrow so it's might have hit a rock and it's come out on the inside of his arm so it's like deflected off something but anyway um he's down there poor buggy he's in good condition i started fattening up again so yeah we're going to get him more cut up and we'll cut him out of here and yeah we've got some beautiful venison to eat now probably make a few sausages out of him and um, we've got some nice back straps there so no uh, very happy we got him down and yeah it was a good bloody time mate bloody good mate there's our little buck hey, man. got tree all done brett yeah mate we've got it taken care of Get the meat on the bloody pack. And have this nice easy walk out, eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, happy days, good hunt. Yeah, mate, coffee time. Um, we had a very, very big walk today. Yeah. So we pretty much covered this place boundary to boundary. All them hills out there, pretty much at the bottom of them foothills there. And um, yeah, that was awesome, bloody day. We didn't have a pig. Uh, we saw a few good bucks. We got yeah, it's just hard going at the start, wasn't it? Yeah. Bloody cattle and stuff, bugger and stuff. But yeah, then we end up managing to rattle a young buck in, and um, yeah, we got him for meat. We'll quickly smash this, and then yeah, we'll go get the um, meat taken care of and core him, and yeah, we'll catch us when we're done doing that. Last hunt of, of this um, weekend, or week, sorry. <coughs> yeah, hopefully we get onto a good buck or something. And um, pretty good wind today, it's a bit breezy. We're getting out a bit earlier, so hopefully no livestock get in the way and ruin anything for us, and um, we'll go get into it, huh? Very good. Just a young buck. Yeah, is that for footage, That's eh? Fucking awesome. <laughs> How wicked is that shit, boy? <laughs> what was that? Three metres, oh maybe? Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I've had he, oh, his young buck, but still, like, I couldn't let him turn around. He came in on a string, but eh? it took a while. Yeah. But um, there he goes up there, back to his scrape, I reckon. But, um, you don't get footies like that every day. No. Nah. That's Holy. wicked, man. Absolutely wicked. Well, Week done, mate. Yeah, mate, that's all she wrote. Um, bloody epic week. Saw some awesome animals. Had a heap of um, really, really cool encounters. Uh, we managed to get a nice big body back there and for meat. And I uh, yeah, took out a couple of pigs and that. So, yeah, bloody epic week. <laughs> <laughs> Time to go to the pub and get dinner and a few beers. Yeah, mate.